what's up guys thank you for watching today's video as always I do appreciate all your support if you want to help out you can always click like on this video down below consider sharing it out to your favorite social media there's also lots of helpful links as well as any links to any stencils featured today right down below there's also a link for becoming a school squad member consider joining to help out the channel if you have any questions you can always drop them down in the comments down below I do check them and I do reply whenever I've, I have some helpful information. As always, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, you can always click on the Mike's Brush link here and it will take you directly to the channel where you can see lots of other videos that we've done in the past. Thank you for watching. Let's get on with the show. What's up guys? There you are over there. Over there. There's where you are. What's up? What's up? We're back. We're back. After some breaks, some time, a little time to myself and just having some general fun and doing a lot of work. Uh, we've actually been a little busy. Uh, we're going to continue on doing some live streams, some videos. I should have washed my hands. My hands are dirty from getting all this stuff clean today. Um, but anyway, here's what we have today. We got some nice... Uh, you say bull hide hats? Oh yeah, yeah, we got the chat over here too. Let me make sure I can see it. What's up, Grady? What's up, John Cersei? Uh, what's up, Captain Customs? How's it going, everybody? Um, so we're gonna be doing some fire on these. I, I did one for the guy here. I'll bring up the pictures, show you guys. So I did one for the guy and um, he really liked it. So he brought more. And I've dedicated all day today to try to get these done. You can see here. Uh, you see that hat? You see that chili pepper? Look at it. And we got the fire. So we're going to try to do, we got five of these today. So hopefully you guys, um, are, are in for a, a nice long live stream today because that's what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a long one today and uh, we're going to try to get all five of these hats done. Um, so yeah, that's what we're working on today. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Let me know if the music's too loud or anything like that. Um, and it is 9.30 in the morning here and I have until 2 p.m. not to get them done but that's how long we have to be live. Basically, I've dedicated my whole work day today to doing all five of these hats. So we're gonna go ahead and do all five of them. First thing I'm gonna do is just remove this stuff because we need to be able to paint without getting uh, stuff all over. So I'm just gonna take all five of the hats and remove the labels. Uh, what's up? What's up, Eddie? How's it going? Greetings from the Netherlands. How's it going, going? Get all five of these over here so we can just do them and get them out of the way. <laughs> What's up, Trevor S? How's it going? Skull Squad Boy! I love seeing them little skulls. Yes, Trevor! So get all these labels off. So maybe we should leave one somewhere where you can see it. It's like bull hide hats or something. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it right here. Not sponsored, sponsored. <laughs> I mean, the guy's paying to have these done, so. Sponsored? No. Commissioned! space to have these all kind of laid out to be honest with you while we're going because I need to be able to have them all dry and go as I work and putting fire on a hat sounds pretty good so you're halfway in it 
and you start painting one of these hats, you realize the material starts absorbing the paint, and you start having trouble trying to get it all to shine up. You know what I'm saying? You want to make it look nice and bright, nice and clean, but then you have troubles because the, the, the paint ain't really shining up the way you like it. It ain't bright enough, man. And then you just like trying to lay a paint on, lay a paint on, and uh, yeah, it, it creates some trouble. So in order to avoid all them issues, we're gonna, we gonna do something special to these uh, before we start. In order to do these, uh, you know, in a rapid manner, in a, in a timely manner, in a professional way, in a way that we would do in a production shop, in a way that <coughs> makes it convenient to the customer, makes it affordable, makes it so that I don't have to slave away for two weeks on these. We're going to do them all at the same time. We, we've made up a stencil and, and we've already worked up our skills with the fire, so we're we good with that. All right. So all the hats have this nice bull hide tag on the back, right? So I'm able to, um, I know where the back is on all of them, and it makes it nice and, and you know, easy to tell which way, which way we going. Now, speaking of said stencils, I did cut out a stencil for the chili pepper. Here it is from where I used it the first time. Blam. It's a design that he already had on the hat. And he brought in and then he was like, can you match this design? And then I was like, well, of course I can. And I took some pictures of it, then made my own little stencil out of design that he uh, brought in. And uh, I had multiples just in case. All right. I do have some pineapple juice. This is what we're going to be drinking today. Let me take a look at this cat. Um, Getting ready to use your blue frame technique and some shoes soon. Nice, nice. Ooh. Ooh. That pineapple juice just hits a little different in the mornings. Mm-hmm. If you're one of those people that's like, oh, I don't drink apple, uh, pineapple juice unless it's alcoholic. Now, I feel you. I feel you. All right. So before I start putting paint on all these, and this one has some, I guess it don't matter. You won't be able to see that. Um, I do want to lay some bleed checker. The reason, again, is because I, I did one, and that one took a little longer than I liked. And the it seemed like the material was just soaking in the paint, right? Um, it looks like it has some sort of a glaze on here, right? Like this this color. But I think this is just like dipped. Like it's just dipped in something. It kind of absorbs that color. This is not like an actual, like, um, like a coating over the top. So when you start spraying more stuff that can soak in, it just soaks in. So in order to try to avoid some of that today, we're going to try to do a little bit of bleed checker um, on here beforehand. Um, and hopefully that tries to avoid. I was thinking maybe doing some 40-50 first and then letting them dry up pretty good. That might also work pretty good before we start uh, layering down paint. Uh, but other than that, yeah, that, that's kind of my plan uh, is to lay some bleed checker before we start putting anything down because that'll just save us a lot of trouble and a lot of hassle in the, in the long run. In the long run, Try using Bulldog Adhesion Promoter on it. On what? On these hats? Why would I do that? Okay, so I have white. I have white already loaded. Just try to make sure I get my color sorted out. Yeah, I don't think it needs adhesion promoter on the sets. Um, what's up, Dad? How's it going?
So I'm just gonna make sure to clean this up pretty good. We're gonna spray some bleed checker in here. What's up, brush strokes? How's it going? All right. So again, just hoping to avoid some of the absorption. We're gonna leave the lead check first. Let this dry up, and hopefully that stops uh, the rest of the paint from just deciding to soak in all kinds. No doubt it's probably still going to do it anyway, but maybe not as much. Maybe not as much, that's all we want. Not as much, just maybe. Alright, so we're going to do a blue checker on these sides right here. Blue checker across the front. And at the very end, I'll lay some 4050 um, to give this whole surface kind of the same um, finish. Because laying down this bleed checker is just going to make this look a little smoother. And if you're not a person that likes like uh, multiples, I do. You know, maybe this is not the stream for you. And then we're gonna spray up the back here. Extra tea. <laughs> All right, so number one, bleed checker. Start with number two. Daz, thank you, thank you. All right, so again, just getting the bleed checker in here. Bleed checker, boy. We just need it across the front of this because that fire really only comes up to here. We don't. We're not gonna do fire all the way around. Same with this. The fire only comes up comes up to here. We're not, I'm not trying to lay bleed checker over the whole thing. And if any of you guys have ever worked with bleed checker, you know that just a little bit goes a long way. You really don't need to lay a heavy coat down or anything like that. You just lay a nice, nice coat. Make sure you cover the area. And when that dries up, it usually dries up pretty stiff. 
and it helps set later. And I've had pretty good results using that. So that's that's why I decided to use that today instead of using the 4050. <coughs> going to be painting a 3D Vinny? No. What is that that you're putting on there first? So this is bleed checker. I don't know if you can't hear me, I've said it multiple times, we're laying down bleed checker <coughs> so that this can dry up um, and hopefully our layers, our paint that we start painting down here, uh, it doesn't start leaking through because uh, like I said, I was already doing one, I already did one and when I was doing it, I realized that this material likes to just soak in the paint kind of like if you're working on like some black jeans or something like that so it takes more work than, than you'd really want even though it looks like it's a nice you know um like a nice matte finish it, I, it's like more like a dip dye or something it's something that's actually soaked into the fibers um so there is nothing actually stopping anything else from soaking in so when you start layering down paint it starts soaking in right away. So we're laying down bleed checker. So that we can try to get hopefully some nice bright layers. Fun, exciting times. Four of five, and then five of five. Then we could switch right back off to number one, and we could actually start layering some stuff in. How's everybody been? How's everybody doing? A little bit 
some more. Finally got all five. Now we can start doing some artwork. So we'll let these dry in order. So we'll go back to number one. The one with all the little spots on it. And it's nice and dry. It almost looks like I didn't even spray it with nothing. You can kind of see the difference a little bit. It's a little bit shinier. So hopefully that did the trick and hopefully that allows us to get some nice bright whites right away. So let me load up some white. Some good old white. Good to go. Yep, yep. I'm in Illinois right now, waiting to pick up a load and then going back to Little Rock, Arkansas. Nice. Chilling in Arizona. Getting ready for a Cali run. Nice. 39 degrees, holy moly. Cold, boy, cold. It's cold outside. All right, so we're gonna see this stencil here. So we're gonna start with this guy. And we're just gonna layer that in in white. And that'll give us a good base for the guy. Nothing too special about that. I just need to load up some white and we'll be good to go. At least you get to enjoy all the weather, you know? Gotta look on the bright side. At least you get to, you know, you get to see a little snow, you get to see a little rain, you get to see some sunshine. And if you're driving, you get to see everything, so. up with a little bit of reducer go home whether you're drunk <laughs> yeah here in Colorado it's been the same like right now it's nice outside you know tell me how long that's actually gonna hold up though Stencil kind of lined up here. And 
does look like the bleed checker worked because this is a lot brighter than it was the first time already. Stay still! Stay still, you little son of a guinea that was sinner! That's a lot brighter than it was the first time. I need it to stay right where I want it, right there. Nope. Perfect. Yeah, that's actually a lot brighter than it was the first time. And this thing is like moving. It's moving on me. You know what? This rotating table was a good idea until I started trying to work on it. Then it turned out it's not a good idea. So let's get rid of this. <laughs> we hate the snow, at least I do when I'm in this truck. What's up, James? How's it going? All right, so need some fire stencils real quick. Hold on. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna start building up the fire using a little bit of white first as a good base. Um, and then we're gonna go from there. You guys know the drill, you guys seen the videos already. I don't need to tell y'all how to make some fire. Y'all know, y'all know. So we're gonna put fire coming off both sides, the main guy right here. And now that we actually did the bleed checker, I feel like I can make the fire even tighter than I made the first one. Cause look, look at how nice and bright that comes out right away. Look at it, look at the niceness. It wasn't that nice and bright the first time I did it. I, I was really having issues. I was a little, it was like, this is no, oh man, oh, oh. And I had already started, so I couldn't just like, yeah. <laughs> Experience goes a long way, my boy. Experience goes a long way. So now we can just make this fire quick and easy like. See? I thought this was, I thought we was gonna be working on this like a long time, but it turns out, you know, because this is working so good that we could just like blam, blam blizzle. It's gonna make Larry and then all the colors real nice. A lot of twisting and turning with this stencil. I know, I get it, but it's, you wanna make some fire. You got to know how to use the tool, man. Using the tool is half the battle. If you ain't using the tool, you ain't working, boy. You better learn to drive that back home. Tell you what. Tell you what. <laughs> What's up, Aaron Hashman? How's it going? No snow here, we have a total of less than one inch. Yeah, we, we haven't had no snow. I mean, we had snow a, a, like a week ago. But it's just, it's been, it gets nice. The weather gets real nice. Like today, right now outside, it's, it's pretty nice. It's like 60 degrees or something, the sun's out. But then, like this afternoon or whatever, it'll shift. It'll go. See how nice and bright we were able to get it right away? Oh yeah, that, that's so much easier than it was the first time. Like, 
amounts easier. You guys have some, you have no idea. That bleed checker is whoo, on something like this. If you were gonna airbrush yourself a cowboy hat, I definitely recommend getting yourself some bleed checker. Laying that bad boy down before you start painting. Save yourself the headache, boy. Fight there on the side. Ooh. Bleed checkers. Where might won't you find such a product? Google is, is a great. Google is an amazing service. It's available on the internet. I do believe underneath the video there is a, a link to Amazon. I do appreciate if you use that link, but you don't got it. These guys better have the pointiest boots to match their badass hats. No. So I believe the story with these is having the hottest chili. Cause see, he has, a, he's gonna have a chili on there, and so they want it to have the the, the hottest chili. Pointiest boots. There you go. Base layer on the first one, done. Base layer number one done. Down to move on to number two. All right, let's, oh wait, 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 wait. We all almost forgot the back. Let's not forget the back. Gotta get some fire up in here. You make your chili with beer. I, I, I like you already. This recipe sounds good. <laughs> I do believe I concur with this beans with beer. This sounds mighty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I might have do say that you have mentioned such a product, such meal, and now my mouth is salivating. 
Yes, it is, sir. Good. Mm-hmm. You cannot bring up such things in the midday while well, man is working. Yeah, look, that's just bad. <laughs> In case you're wondering, this fire stencil kit here that I'm using, this is the one available here on Mike'sBrush.com. That nice little website that's right here, right underneath your screen. You see right here where my hand is? Look, look at that. Mike'sBrush.com. You can find yourself lots and lots and lots of nice little stencil sets that I've created, and they are really nice to use. And this fire stencil is one of them. There is a nice complete video showing you how to use it. So if you're interested, and you want to make yourself some fire on your next project, please, by all means, help a brother out. Help a brother out make a dollar. You got great energy. Yeah, the wife made pretty strong coffee this morning. All right, so there's layout for the back, layout for the front, sides. All right, well, now we can move on to number two. Had to turn on the ventilation, it's getting kind of cloudy in here. <coughs> <coughs> I say as I start coughing up lung. <coughs> <coughs> well, that's right, I did make the coffee this morning. I don't understand how I make it stronger when all I do is put the coffee in and hit start. How does that even work? I'm not doing nothing special.
Yeah, decisions have to be made. There it is. There it is. All right. Give me some of that weed checker. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome to Colorado, boy. All right. So now we can get this bad boy in here. the insight into the life of a daily airbrush worker. Every day, the airbrush worker must come into work and he must put himself through many paces of creativity. Unlike the average human being, he is expected to get very, very creative and produce these works of art on a constant basis. The people who employ him have no idea what it takes to achieve these things. He has been up since six in the morning, drinking coffee, preparing his mind. Then he comes out here. He starts by preparing the area and cleaning off multiple surfaces from the previous job, getting everything ready and streamlined so that he can produce the artwork that is expected of him. When nobody is watching, he also readies the cameras so that he can go live and hopefully make a few extra dollars while he is painting. He continues the process multiple times. It's actually quite mind-numbing work. One would consider it almost the same to driving. To the untrained person, he would be astonished. Oh my god, look at the creative flowing juices. But to him, every day he comes out here and he just uses his hands to create multiple things. Nobody understands his ways, and not even he himself, as while he's painting, he is in some sort of trance. And the paint just flows and he creates these magnificent things. It is believed it is passed down from a great lineage of airbrushing masters. And sitting here in this temple, in this shop, in the shop as they call it. He continues the tradition of the Mike's brush, passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> He lays down the patterns carefully watching as he lays down these patterns to try to create the illusion of fun. It is a specialty that is known for only in these regions it is possible. Many people try to imitate all over the world but not nowhere do they come close as to they do here. In the great temple of the Mike's Brush We got the layout for the front. Not too crazy, just some nice little fire. I'm just gonna start off with a white base, then we're gonna start layering in the colors um, using the stencil here uh, for the chili. We'll get that guy outlined in, and then we'll start filling in the colors for this guy. At the same time, we'll start working the flames. And we have a nice production line. This is 
Only number two of five. Yeah, hey! The artist sits and talks to himself like a wolf calling out in the wild, not knowing if anybody will answer back. It is a foul attempt that he hears nobody call back to him. He moves on and continues his busy work. For if he wants to eat, he must create. There is no other way for him. This is the way of life in these, in these areas. In this temple, everybody must carry their own weight. If they do not create, they are taking up space and meals for somebody that can create. Every day in this temple, people get shunned out because they do not create. They pretend to create and create nothing! <laughs> Three of five. I need to make like my best documentary voice and be like the artist. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Now, now I'm thinking about it too hard. I, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh every time if I try. I can't even. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Um. Let me catch myself. Hold on. On today's episode of Meet the Artist, we are out in Pueblo, Colorado, where we come across a unique individual down in these <laughs> down in the village. He sits in his quiet corner, and while nobody is watching, he creates these magnificent works of art. Unbeknownst to the world around him. He sits quietly in this one little shop, not knowing what goes on in the world around the outside. Today, we get a special peek inside the view of this creator who produces mass works of art for lots of individuals, and they never even see his face. They do not know the creator. So this is quite a magnificent look into the wildlife that is the airboat shops. We happened to come across Mike as he was painting some hats. This is a particular job for him, like how he picks up any other job. The customer has heard from word of mouth that Mike is very good. So he brought in these hats so that Mike can paint them. Now, Mike had already done one sample, and during that sample, he'd noticed that the material was extra absorbent, making it harder to paint. Now, instead of charging the customer more and putting up with such a tremendous problem that hinders his creative work, he decided to find a separate solution. He scoured his painting supplies for a supply he had used previously when creating fire. Now, seeing as how this fire, this project that he's particularly working on, also required the use of fire, this almost seemed perfectly fit. So he used a little bit of 4040 uh, bleed checker, which is uncommonly used on a, a piece like this, in order to create his custom artwork without raising the price for said customer, keeping it affordable and keeping the whole economy of the area going. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
unbeknownst to the customer, Mike has employed his cunning wit to produce this artwork at such an amazing price. Mike is known for his specialty around these parts, which is the fire. And he has many people come from all over the world to achieve this fire on their projects. <gasps> I can't. I can't even think of anything else to say. <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right. I need to stop. I need to just. <laughs> Boy, what's in this pineapple juice? Holy crap! He says, "What's in the pineapple juice?" As he chugs down the rest of it, not questioning the thoughts he is having. It's so hard to keep a straight face. It's it's so like I'm trying so hard to keep a straight face. You have no idea how hard that is to do. You guys are over here like, oh, he's just painting fire, and I'm over here like I'm trying so hard not to fucking laugh. That's that's what I'm doing. Has it been live in a while? Does it know how to act? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what's going on. I forgot what I'm supposed to be talking about while I'm painting. Not to laugh during that. I, I, I hope you guys got to laugh because I was I, inside. I was dying. I just can't. I can't keep it. I can't keep it straight. <laughs> Do not adjust your television sets. You are no longer in control. Exactly. <laughs> Is it bad that I want to keep going? It's so funny. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of stuff ahead of time. <laughs> oh man, let me let me keep this up. To turn up the ventilation up a bit. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> I think that might have been some fer fermented pineapple juice, man. Hey, you want to? You want to make some real fire? You got to learn to communicate with the gods, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Welcome to Colorado, boy! <laughs> Somebody said he's losing it. It's like, boy, I lost it a long time ago! On purpose! I threw that bitch off the bridge! I didn't own it. It was like the Jumanji game. I said, fuck that, bury it. Get rid of that shit. <laughs> I don't want to have it. It can, it can directly fuck off. 
I done lost it on purpose. I hope you guys found it and you catch it. Whatever it is. Anyway, we got this. <laughs> we got this laid out. Oh, what is that? Three? Three or five? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot less cloudy here now with the ventilation going. <laughs> what the hell happened over here? What am I looking at? What? What is this? I hope I didn't mess it up. Oh, okay, it's working now. I can actually see what the hell. It was like all flipped over. Okay. On to four or five. We're making progress. Progress is being made. side lined up this this is the hardest part this, this is actually the hardest part just making sure you get it all lined up then once you got that on there boom boy boom 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 chug it like a boy once you got that on there then you could go and go ahead and move on that boy with the bomber club flames then you could do that boy Bomba Flame, look at that. Bomba Flame almost sounds like a Street Fighter move. They need to have some some fighter on Street Fighter. You know how you got the Yoga Flame and you like the Hadouken and all that. Bomba Cut Flyer! Bomba Cut Flyer! <laughs> Hadouken! Bomba cut fire! You got flames! <laughs> That's how my brain works. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody out there today is having a great, fantastic day. Whether you out there enjoying the sunshine or you count down in a little bit of rain, it's all okay. Just know that God is shining down upon you today as he does every day. He has blessed you with the gift of life today, another day that you is awake. Do not waste this day. Create something. Make something. Please go out there. Live your best life. 
Live your best life, my child. Today in the Church of Max Brooks. We're creating the gift of fire today. Without fire, man would not have superseded nature. Without the control of fire, man would not have food to eat. <laughs> oh my god. That looks spicy. That's that's spicy right there. It's just so quick, fast, and look how spicy that look at that look at that spiciness. That's just hot, boy. That's just hot. That's just the hotness. Should I move the camera down? Is that a good angle, or should I put it like lower so you guys can kind of see where I'm spraying? Honestly, I was just like, yo, I haven't been live in a while. I set up the cameras and stuff, and I was just like, let's go. Let's go. I got it working, and I was like, I need to get these done. They probably like watching. I haven't been live in a while. Let's get let's get back on it. Let's get back on it. But if you guys want me to move the camera closer, just let me know. I'll move the camera. All right. Number four or five. Base is going down. It's going down. Meet me at the club. It's going down. Meet me outside the church. It's going down. Meet me outside um, the park. It's going down. <laughs> So anywhere you meet me is gonna go down. <laughs> Saucy boy. Saucy. That boy is, is lighting that shit up. If these if these hats were made out of weed, boy, I'd be so hot right now with this with this fire. Ooh, boy, it'd be burning. Maybe that's where my energy's come from. I've been lighting up these hats. Maybe they're hemp hats. Maybe my ass been getting lit and not knowing it. Boys let down them flames, boy. Them flames! Boy got that fire. Five of five right here. I gotta go pee real quick. I'll be right back. One second.
Alright, we're back. We're back! <clears throat> okay. So, layout for five of five. Let's get her done. Let's get her done! Forty forty blocker does so. It creates a layer, a nice clear layer, for when you don't want colors to mix. That's what it's designed for. So usually, when like you're laying the candies. Specifically for when you're laying candies, because the candies, uh, if you lay one candy over another, um, not only will the one candy like cover the other color, right? Depending on what color it is, the, the dominant color is going to take over. But sometimes they will mix. So instead of getting a certain shade or something, it'll it'll mix in. So like in, in some instances, you'll lay candy down. And then you want to bring up some white highlights or something like that. Um, you'll lay down bleed checker first because otherwise your white highlights that you lay in will turn into um, like light blue or, or a, a shade of blue. And I've only come across it a few times, but to be honest with you, it's better safe than sorry because the time that it did happen, it was like I had to redo a bunch of work. I had to lay down bleed checker anyway and. Yeah, not fun. I don't know what that says. <laughs> Airbrush detailing, okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what that says. I didn't know vodka comes in plastic bottles. <laughs> right?
gotta do this back. Then we can start layering this in colors. Oh, got the last one. Now we can go back to number one. Okay, so... Honestly, this is gonna be hard to tell what I'm gonna be doing if you're not close. So let me get you the proper angles. That's probably, that's better than it was. Then I can uh, loosen this guy here. And that's totally not in the way, but we'll see. I have to like put my cheek up against the camera right here. See, you see what I'm seeing, all right? You're seeing what I'm seeing in real time, like. So when I put my finger there, that's what I'm seeing right there. Let's look, look at me, look at me, look at you, looking at what I'm looking while we looking at the same thing all together, like. <laughs> you like how we could do that? Look, looking, looking, and looking while we looking and we looking together. Now, I know a lot of you guys are expecting me to lay out some red candy over this, but instead of that, instead of that, today we're going to be using the opaques, and then at the very end, I'm going to use some candy to kind of blend it all in nice together. But I'm going to build up the flames using the opaque paint. The OPEX! We're going to use the OPEX! We're going to use the OPEX red. I think there's nothing here to get all these hats done. Red. I hope that's enough. Throw a little bit of reducer in there, bad boy. Throw a little bit of reducer in there, bad boy. Yeah, bad boy. All right, get the lid on there. Let's shake it up. 
how long we've been live? We've been live an hour. Layer number one took us one hour. Now I'm gonna be working a little bit uh, lower pressure. Let me just turn that down just a little bit. Right there. turn down the ventilation because what it was doing is sucking out all my warm air and it's getting not chilly in here but it's getting a little colder than it was earlier and so let's yeah I just turned that down a little bit so it's not so aggressive um, okay so first thing I actually need to do is we're gonna layer in the stencil so we know where that goes so we use this guy right here Got all the lines marked off for us. So we'll know where all the colors go. Green chili flames? No, he wants regular flames. Red, orange, yellow. right here sometimes you gotta know when to hold them you gotta know when to fold them boy you gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them so we'll get that marked off right there by holding it in Bam, you see? Now we got the, the lines of where our design goes. And then we'll line it up over here. Hit his hand. Get the shape of the hand in there. Bloom, boy! Yeah, boy! Work smart, not hard. Oh, yeah, that's all that's about. Work smart, not hard. That's all that is. Yeah. Now, why would I drop my hand every time? I could just do that. Look at that. Look at that, boy. <laughs> right on, James. Thank you, thank you, sir. Have a great day. Have an awesome time with your son, man. That sounds like it should be fun. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so we got that. So now we can lay in the red for the chili.
Okay, the red for the chili. It's in. We're gonna do some flames on this hat. Because I'm a boss like that, and that's what we do. We're gonna try to get the little chili also drawn on there. Chili eyes. For his little chili glasses. There you go. Now we can start working this fire. Uh, let me get you guys right, right where the camera can see so I can just make sure to stay within that area right there. starting with red on the fire because I like having that extra deepness the depth to it that extra just a little bit of you know the glow the look I know a lot of people don't like red on their fire or something and they just want to make it extra bright which that's fine I just like red on my fire because I think it makes it look a little just a little bit deeper Gives you a little bit more to play with. All I'm doing is just layering in that red over that white. No, don't have to be too crazy with it. Just try to get that all covered up. Okay, what are you trying to do? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you want to have it shook here, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, if I haven't checked the message, then it'll be later. Okay. All right, no problem. Uh, One project at a time. Let me just get this, get these hats out of here. That looks really vibrant on the camera. <laughs> it looks like super bright on the camera. That's funny.
get that nice and covered in. All right, red on hat number one, finished. Oh, I'm gonna be live for a minute here. That's red on the hat number one. Let's do red on the hat number two. Let's start off by marking Mr. Mr. Uh, Chili here. This little chili stencil lined up. Chili. And we start layering in the red. Fine, fine, fine. All the fun times being had. Are we good? Is it good? Oh my god, I don't know what happened. I think it's good. disconnected and then I go inside and Jess is inside the house and like what the hell and didn't expect her to be in there and then now it seems to be working or oh, is it is it working what is going on seems to be having issues today internet issues we was rocking and rolling fine Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Working okay? Are we good? Is it working good? Seems to be good, I don't know. All right, three of five. Apologies, I have to just hooked it up with lunch, so I had to go get some of my lunch. We'll see if the internet stabilizes out too. Space for activities. <laughs> <laughs> See him. I can see him. Hold on. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Forget it. 
Okay. Bag. Had some person call. Oh, we're trying to get some like uh, credit card thing. Do we have a ship for you yet? It's not. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. I messaged you on Instagram, but I can't wait. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and I, my phone had just gone off like seconds before they called. So, uh, yeah. They were waiting for a response instantly. Yeah, instant response. You didn't have an auto response. No, because then people fucking just keep messaging. <laughs> they think it's a real person and they put, well, well, I have you. Blah, blah, blah. Put ask, this is my auto response. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Sounds good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so I don't see a super chat. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it. Uh